let us take some numerical examples on mesh analysis here we will take up three examples and we will solve each question in a step by step manner so this is example 1 here a circuit is given with independent sources and resistances and we are required to calculate the current in this 2 ohm resistance using mesh analysis so the step 1 is to identify the meshes in the circuit so here we can see that this circuit has two meshes which i am marking with these two circles so this is mesh 1 and this is mesh 2 once you identify the meshes the second step is to mark the mesh currents mesh currents can be marked either in clockwise or anti clockwise direction but for the sake of convention we will always take mesh currents in a clockwise direction so i had these two meshes mesh 1 and mesh 2 and i am marking the mesh currents in clockwise directions once we have marked the mesh currents we need to write the kvl equations for these two meshes to obtain the values of these variables i1 and i2 so here we will take rise in potential as negative and fall in potential as positive so first i'll write the uh, kvl equation for mesh 1 so i'm starting from the lower potential terminal of this 12 volt source so as we move in a clockwise direction first of all i see a rise in potential which is equal to 12 volts so i take the value as minus 12 then on my way i have this 2 ohm resistance the current through which is i1 and it is along the same direction in which we are moving so there is a fall in potential and this fall in potential i'll take with plus sign the value of resistance is 2 ohms and the value of current is i1 now on my way there is a resistance of 12 ohms which is common between the two meshes and if we see the current through it in a direction top to bottom then the value of current will be i1 minus i2 so that is a fall in potential again so i'll take it with a positive sign the value of resistance is 12 ohms and the value of current is i1 minus i2 now on my way i'll have this 4 ohm resistance the current through which is i1 and there is a fall in potential again i'll take it with a positive sign the value of resistance is 4 ohms and the current is i1 so i am back to the point from where i started so the sum of all these uh, potential differences should be equal to 0 so this will be the kvl equation for mesh 1 now i'll write the kvl equation for mesh 2 here i'll start with this point in a clockwise direction so first of all i ha i'll have this 9 ohm resistance on my way the current through which is i2 and it is along the same direction in which i am traveling so there is a fall in potential and hence i'll take it with a positive sign the value of resistance is 9 ohms the value of current is i2 then i'll have this 8 volt source on my way and you see a fall in potential so again i'll take it with a positive sign the value of potential difference is 8 volts for this 3 ohm resistance the current is i2 there's a fall in potential again a positive sign the value of resistance is 3 ohms and the current is i2 now we come to this 12 ohm resistance if we see the current in a bottom to top direction then the value of current will be i2 minus i1 and that current will be in the same direction in which we are moving so that's a fall in potential and hence i take it with a positive sign the value of resistance is 12 ohms and the current 
in bottom to top direction will be i2 minus i1 now i am back to the point from where i started so the sum so as the final step we need to solve these equations to obtain the values of i1 and i2 and since we were required to calculate the current through this 2 ohm resistance we see that the current through it is i1 and in terms of branch current we see that the current is from left to right direction so if we solve these equations we get i1 to be plus 2 by 3 amperes which means that the current through 2 ohm resistance is from left to right and its magnitude is 2 by 3 amperes so these are the four standard steps which will be followed in the upcoming examples also so in example 2 we have taken a circuit which has got dependent as well as independent sources here we see that this source is a current dependent voltage source it is dependent on a current i naught which is flowing through this 10 ohm resistance so once again our first step is to identify the meshes in the circuit so there are three meshes we can see here which i am marking with three circles here so this is mesh 1 this is mesh 2 and this is mesh 3 now once you have identified the meshes you need to mark the mesh currents in clockwise direction so for the mesh 1 i am marking the current as small i1 for the mesh 2 i am marking the current as small i2 in clockwise direction and for mesh 3 i am marking the current as i3 so since we were required to calculate this current i naught here we see that i naught can be expressed in terms of i1 and i2 because this 10 ohm resistance is a common branch between mesh 1 and mesh 2 so this i naught is equal to i1 minus i2 so once we know i1 and i2 and we find that difference we will be able to calculate this i naught once we have identified the meshes and marked the mesh currents we need to write the KVL equations for all these meshes so again I will follow the same convention of taking a rise in potential as negative and fall in potential as positive so for mesh 1 I am starting from this point the equation will be minus 24 volts plus 10 i1 minus i2 then plus 12 i1 minus i3 is equal to 0 similarly for mesh 2 the KVL equation can be written as I am starting from this point so this equation is plus 10 i2 minus i1 plus 24 i2 plus 4 i2 minus i3 and that is equal to 0 and finally for mesh 3 I am starting again from this point in a clockwise direction the equation is plus 4 i3 minus i2 now this is a voltage source and it is a current dependent voltage source we see a fall in potential so this will be plus sign and the value of potential difference is 4 i naught now I'll have this 12 ohm resistance on my way so there is a fall in potential with i2 the current as i3 minus i1 and this is equal to 0 so now we have four equations here i1 i2 i3 and for i0 also and once we solve these equations we will be able to cal cal calculate the value of i0 so once we solve these equations we get the value of i0 as 1.5 amperes as a final example we have taken up this circuit which has got a current source in it so here we are uh, required to calculate the current in this 8 ohm resistance now the steps will be the same so first we need to identify all the meshes in the circuit here we see that there are three meshes which I am marking with these circles 
mesh 1 mesh 2 and mesh 3 once we have identified the meshes again we need to mark the mesh currents and here we are marking all the currents in a clockwise direction so for mesh 1 I am marking the current as I1 for mesh 2 I am marking the current as I2 and for mesh 3 I am marking the current as I3 here we see that this uh, 3 ampere current source is lies in a branch which is common between the meshes 1 and 3 so we can find out here a relationship between I1 and I3 in terms of the current which is made to flow in this branch so here we see that this current is flowing from the top to bottom direction and accordingly the net current would be I1 minus I3 and that happens to be here equal to 3 amperes so now once we have uh, marked all the meshes and the mesh currents the step will be to write KVL equations for the meshes now here we see that for mesh 1 we can not write a KVL equation because there is no way to directly calculate the potential difference across the 3 ampere source similarly the case will be for mesh 3 where we cannot write a uh, an equation because we cannot directly calculate the potential difference across this 3 ampere source so first let us write the KVL equation for mesh 2 I am starting from this point so the equation will be plus 2 I2 plus 2 I2 plus 4 I2 minus I3 equals zero so here we had three variables i1 i2 and i3 and have two equations we need one more equation so for that equation we will not use a mesh 1 or mesh 3 but we will take a loop using which we can write the equation so here i am taking an outer loop in a clockwise direction and this is what we call a, as a super mesh so I am writing the equation for the super mesh starting from the lower potential terminal of 6 volt source so the equation will be minus 6 plus 2i2 plus 8i3 and that is equal to 0 so we had three variables here and now we have three equations so the final step will be to solve these equations and since the current required was uh, through 8 ohms so we were mainly interested in the value of I3 so once you solve it you get the value of current to be 0.4737 amperes